Today we're going to do a painted finish to make this wooden table look like marble. Painted finishes, otherwise known as faux finishes, such as marbling, wood graining, all those sort of good things, can be applied to just about any surface, any surface that would, take, uh, that would normally take acrylic paint. So wood, plasterboard, concrete, uh, pretty well any surface you can think of. The first step is to prepare the surface. So if we're working on wood, obviously you can work on quite a few other surfaces, but if you're working on wood, we want to make sure the wood's completely clear of any other paint that's been on there previously, or lacquer, or oil, or anything like that, that's going to stop the paint from adhering. Once we've sanded the surface down, and we're happy that it is ready to paint, we're going to apply a couple of coats of the gesso, the Duravan gesso. Now what we want to do with this is make sure we've got a perfectly flat, smooth surface and we might do more than two coats even, maybe even sanding between coats here and there to make sure that there's no brush strokes showing. So now that we have a perfectly finished surface to start with, white obviously in this case, what we're going to do now is take the spreader medium Put some on a, on a palette, plate, whatever you like, something that's non-absorbent. Add a little bit of colour in. Now, uh, uh, we're using white to begin with. You could either use the Durban acrylic colours or the Durban students. It, 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 it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to use the Durban acrylic. They're a little bit stronger uh, and more permanent. And then what we do is we mix the white with the spreader on the on the plate don't mix it too much so we've got it's not completely perfectly mixed so we've got a bit of random action happening then we're going to using our sea sponges we're going to just sponge the surface to wet it down and then we're going to take the black mixed with the spreader medium run it through uh, a feather through to to put the veins in we're going to use these large soft brushes to soften it in places and then at the very end we'll finish off with the water-based varnish and if it's going to get a lot of action if the table like a dining table or something like that we definitely advise you put the solvent-based varnish over the top of that to completely protect it This is a tip 
Um, if you can't get hold of sea sponges, which can sometimes be a little bit tricky to get hold of, you, you can use a scrunched up chucks or other sort of semi-non-porous material. You don't want to use uh, cotton cloth or something like that because you'll end up soaking it with the paint first uh, and, and using up a lot of paint. But something like that that's really sort of scrunched up so it gives you the same sort of texture. What you're trying to do is get a really random pattern happening. The same with feathers. You don't have to use a feather. You can use a uh, Chinese calligraphy brush or something else I've used or a rigger. A thin brush sort of flopped about will still do the same thing. And for the softening brushes, any really soft, it can either be hair or synthetic, but it's got to be really soft. I've just washed these so they're sort of stuck together. They must remain dry. The really important thing is they must remain 100% dry. Have some cloth or an apron handy so you can keep drying them on yourself and getting the paint off.